Okay, hello. Um, what we're going to look at today um, is just a little table comparing mitosis and meiosis. Um, I'm sure you're aware, mitosis is the one, the cell division, that's used for creating um, two cells used in growth and repair. Meiosis, cell division used to create gametes, those cells with half the number of chromosomes in them, used in sexual reproduction. So probably the best way to compare the two is to look at this table, and um, if we just have a look at the beginning, cells created, um, all body cells in mitosis, in meiosis, that's going to be gametes. The number of cells produced, on well, mitosis it's two, and in meiosis it's four. Chromosomes number of the daughter cells, so they're the cells that have been produced after the cell division. In mitosis, it's 46. In meiosis, that gets halved down into 23. Just an important point here, though, this is only going to be in humans. Because, of course, different species are going to have different numbers of chromosomes. This one here causes a bit of confusion. Changing the DNA amount, starting with N before the S phase. So before S phase during interphase where the um, DNA replicates. In mitosis we start off with N, whatever that be, and then after interphase that's going to go to 2N, then after the mitotic cell split that's going to go back down to N. In meiosis however, again we start off with N, whatever that might be, a weight of or an amount of DNA. During interphase that doubles up to 2n. During meiosis 1, that splits back down to n. And then we have meiosis 2, so that's going to take it down to 0.5n. 23 chromosomes and half the amount of um, DNA. Genetic content of the daughter cells, well, obviously in mitosis, and if you looked at the mitosis video, we talked about the importance of creating identical cells. In meiosis, the cells are different. Involves pairing of homo homologues. So the homologous pairs. In mitosis, no, it doesn't. And in meiosis, it does. Involves crossing over and recombination. Well, as you can see there, in meiosis, yes, it does. But in mitosis, no, it doesn't. And if you're not sure what these are, have a look at the other two videos explaining mitosis and meiosis. Number of divisions. In mitosis it's one division. In meiosis you've got meiosis one and meiosis two. So there are two divisions. Stages involved. Well in meiosis, mitosis, sorry, you've got prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. But in meiosis you've got the two splits, so prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase one, and then prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase two. That just leaves us with the purpose. We won't mention that there. Mitosis is growth and repair, and sexual reproduction, production of gametes for meiosis. Like I said before, if you're not really sure on this, um, have a look at the two other videos looking at mitosis and meiosis in more detail.